Hello guys, welcome back to our Bitcoin update. In this video, I want to cover Bitcoin and then Floki, one of my favorite altcoins. Then we're going to look at Solana and Ethereum. So, so stay tuned because we have a lot to cover. Right now here on the daily, Bitcoin had a very nice green candle here. As I mentioned in my previous video, the 0 0.31 here was a perfect area to go long. I went long here, I actually took profits now here on my Bitcoin long and actually flipped short. And I will tell you why. Because I'm still bullish and still think the fifth wave is going to go here. So the algorithms always love to buy the 0 0.31. Then they love to sell it as, as minus 0 0.236. So I do think that 76,000 is going to be the next target. But if we come here on the four hour, as I mentioned previously, and we pull from the lows here, so we want to pull here from the lows of the fourth, uh, the first wave to the third wave to the fourth wave, and then we want to use the shift pitchfork. So I've been talking about that the price is going to come here. We saw here price went up here, but it didn't quite reach the medium line. We came down here again, and then algorithms pushed up the price so here i closed my long and i flipped short here so i have a small short here as a mostly like a scalp i'm looking to close it relatively soon because we still have the modify shift i do think bitcoin can uh, very easily reach this median line next that's my next target for bitcoin overall we have to remember that we're still in a fourth wave so we might get some sideways here before then we we'll start the fifth wave higher so we still have to remember here on the daily that we are uh, still in a fifth wave up move up once we come here to the uh, smaller time frame, fifth wave, we're going to break the all-time highs. And I do think that's when Bitcoin is going to fly straight, not straight, but very quickly to 85,000. So as I've been saying, 85,000 is a massive target. Sorry. Uh, 85,000 is a massive target for me, for my uh, Bitcoin uh, prediction. And I do think there is potential for us to reach this median line as well, because we have the, here on the weekly, we still have this uh, massive pitchfork all the way up from the COVID lows to the highs, then to the recent lows that I have here. And we're using the modify ship. So I do think this is going to be potential, the complete top of the bull market. I do think it's a very optimistic target this uh, here before then we we'll start the bear market. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure we're going to go to 85,000. Then we'll have to see if the median line gets tagged. Usually these pitch force are very accurate. So I do think we're going to go there. Uh, but I do think it's a very optimistic target as well. Uh, I also got a lot of hate for my previous video because I, I said we're not going to go to under 50,000 or 200,000 this uh, bull market. Uh, a lot of people said that they look at previous uh, bull markets and we just had the halving and they think we're going to go much, much higher. But we also have to remember this halving was very different from the previous halving. We just had a massive rally when the Bitcoin halving happened. Uh, and I just don't see a lot of money coming in. There are already so many retail traders in the market and people think that this market is here to make everybody rich. And that's actually not the uh, that's not how markets work. Markets are not here to make, especially not retail traders rich. Markets are here to actually take away money only a very a very small minority of people actually make money trading this market it's very very difficult to make money in the markets so you don't want to be stuck holding the bag once ethereum reach a, a bitcoin goes to 85,000. probably gonna have a bigger correction if we're lucky we're gonna go to this median line here overall i'm still very very bullish i still think we're uh, in a bull market i'm still bullish we're gonna go higher but i don't see us going much higher than 100k max that bitcoin is gonna reach is here at 95 98,000 or 100,000 before then we'll start a massive uh, bear market also if you look at the total altcoin market cap here i'm still bullish here on the weekly uh, we're still in the fourth wave here maybe some more sideways before then we we'll continue to one trillion market cap we still have this pitch work here so right now is the time to buy altcoins i've been telling you guys all the way down here if we take here from the first wave to the third wave we bottom perfectly at the 0 0.31 here very typical target that's when you can know a fourth wave is in then very typical we see some sideways before we break up to the minus two three six we see this pattern everywhere in the market so i do think all season is just around the corner alts are already started flying but i do think that uh they're gonna go much much higher a lot of altcoins also the same pattern we see here on ethereum so here let's start on the weekly on the weekly we have here ethereum uh, from the lows here from the previous bear market lows to the highs to the recent lows i've been saying for a super long time this median line is going to get reached. There's no doubt in my mind. A lot of people have been asking me if I do think that Ethereum can go higher than this median line. And that's a very good question because this used to be my uh, my final top for Ethereum. But right now with the uh, ETF and everything, I do think Ethereum is very, very bullish. So we probably could go higher, but we have to look what, what BTC is doing. So let's say tomorrow Ethereum would reach its target then I do think Ethereum is going to go higher because Bitcoin is not yet at the all-time highs. So we have to see what where Ethereum is once Bitcoin reaches 85,000. Also, the same pattern as I was talking, if we come here on the four hour, we can see here, we pull from the first wave. So I basically have this as a one, two, three, four, five. Let me just change the count here so we can see it more clearly. We can also change the color. 
so let's make this as a cycle so i have this as a very nice one two three four you can see the fourth wave bottomed at the 0.31 on ethereum and right now i do expect ethereum to continue its fifth wave here to the minus 0.236 of course we have to remember that we have here a supply zone here on ethereum that's why we're now uh, getting some resistance here so we might even come down here get some more sideways before then we go higher so you have to be careful buying the top here with leverage especially but you have to but you have to remember that ethereum is super super bullish now and there's no doubt in my mind that we're gonna go here to around 4800 5000 it's gonna be very very uh high probability that ethereum is gonna go there and that's gonna be big resistance so i do expect a pullback here uh, and we have to see as i said if this is gonna be my final target or not so make sure to subscribe because i do i will cover ethereum daily Something else I want to cover is about Solana, as I was talking that I, I, if I'm bearish or not on Solana. So I said, as long as we can stay above the 0 0.31, I'm still bullish on Solana. We can see here, uh, Solana got that very nice uh, bounce here. I'm, I'm personally still long Solana. I'm still holding all my Solana bags. I haven't switched, uh, sold them yet. But I do think if Solana closes below 163 uh, on a daily, I do think Solana is gonna go lower. Because the, the problem is that Ethereum and Solana has kind of been competing with each other. So now with the Ethereum ETF, I do think that most of the money is going to go into Ethereum, which is going to cause Solana to lag behind a bit. But overall, we still have this massive pitchfork on Solana here on the daily. So I do think it's possible we're going to reach this pitchfork. The only thing that worries me, as I covered in yesterday's video, is if we take Solana from the complete lows here and we go to the shift pitchfork. We can see here how perfectly we reach the middle line here and usually that's a top signal. So you can see algorithms have been selling and Solana since we reached the median line here has been going down. But that doesn't mean that this has to be the top. It's just something to be uh, really cautious about because there's a big possibility that Solana has stopped. But we still have the modified shift here. So I still think if all season starts, Solana can uh, potentially go up here to this median line around 390 or 400. Uh, but we have yet to see it. so that's why i have two different counts on solana right now so i have this up here so all eyes on the 0 0.31 we don't want to go below that i have this either as a a b c and the top is in and right now solana is going to go lower or we can have this as a one two three four and we'll, now we bottom the 0 0.31 and the next target is going to be here at 210 at the minus uh, 0 0.236 so time has to tell right now. So I think the, the most important level is the 0 0.31. I'm personally long, as I said, down here. I opened the long here. I'm still holding my long. Either I get stopped up at break even or my take profits hit at 210 on Solana. So that's what I'm looking at right now. And something else I want to cover uh, lastly is one of my favorite coins right now is Floki. I think Floki is a very, very bullish coin as I've been talking for a long time. Also, I posted it in my VIP Discord. Uh, I have this as a massive one, two, three, four. I have from all the all time lows on Floki to the third wave to the fourth wave. I do think the next target for Floki is going to be this median line here. And then we also have a higher target because if we pull here, I'm going to show you the same pattern I've, I've been talking about from the first wave here to the third wave. You can see here how Floki bottomed at the 0 0.31. So the next target algorithms are going to be selling here at the minus uh, 0 0.236, which means we still have another 130% to go on Floki. So that's something to be uh, pay attention to because I do think Floki is gonna reach this target up here. We're, we're just now starting the fifth wave. If we go away on the log scale, we can see we just hit the median line here. Right now, Floki is having some kind of consolidation. So if we even zoom in here on the two hour, I do think this can act as support on Floki. Something else here on the two hour we can look at is from the lows down here to the highs. So for example, here you would see very nice demand zone correlating with the 0 0.31 here. So if Floki start coming down here, here you can look to enter long before then Floki goes higher to the next median line, which is gonna be up here. So Floki is a very, very bullish coin, especially right now, meme coins have been taking over the market and you really want to position yourself in some meme coins. You can also see here how it has been respecting the outside line of the pitchfork and it, this gives me confidence that Floki can easily reach this median line here. So you really want to be long with this altcoin right now. So other than that, this is my views on the market. Please let me know what you think about my Bitcoin prediction. If I'm being too conservative, you think we're going to go higher. Personally, I think even if we get to 100,000, it's going to be very, very optimistic for Bitcoin. But 85,000, I think it's a short thing for Bitcoin. Right now, we just have to look at, I'm personally looking to enter some longs. What we can do here on the four hour is from the third wave to the fourth wave and to the recent highs on the shift one. If we start coming down here, here will be an excellent area to open another long on Bitcoin before then we go higher. Not saying we have to go so low, but usually this this one of my favorite patterns to trade. Overall, make sure to subscribe because I will keep you updated daily. 
leave a like make sure to join my discord link down below i see you again tomorrow